I, I keep running into Sumner. Man, it's driving me mad. Anna, please. I want some attention. I have some troubles of my own. And I'm tired of being ignored. I know how you feel. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm sorry. But it's just such hard work being self-absorbed. <laughs> I adore your honesty. And all the other soft parts of you. He loves his horses more than he loves me. Oh, no. That's horrible. But at those prices, I suppose I'd love the horse more, too. I guess it's hopeless. What? My marriage. Then leave it. Divorce him. I need money, Nick. Lots of it. You'll have lots of money, see? No. He made me sign a horrible prenuptial. How horrible? I get capped there. Ay, 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 so, ay, ay, we don't need Greg Sumner. Well. We'll get money someplace else. You know what really kills me? He buys a $10 million horse, but he won't give me money to live comfortably. You know, with money, I could run away from all my problems. Far away. It just would take millions. That horse has his special feed, his own bodyguard. And I get Greg Sumner's emotional leftovers. Anna, I think you should stay where you are anyway, for now. Why should I play second fiddle to a $10 million horse? Nick. A $10 million horse. Say you genius, brilliant! What to say, Bella? <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! The blue topaz necklace also comes with a beautiful seven and a half inch set, bracelet, and earrings. Enjoy your ride, Mrs. Sumner. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Only fourteen twenty-five. Call now. There's a very low supply of these lovely necklaces. Hey, only two hundred left. With only three minutes left to call. Chuck, again. Chuck, we got a brush fire behind a small barn. You're kidding? No, come on, we need your help, man. All, All right. right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Why? We had agreed. Yeah, but, you know, real estate in Europe has gone up. And there is a certain style to which I've been accustomed. In other words, you were feeling greedy, huh? Here, you take Rover. Yeah. Go, come on. Let's go. Good. Come here. Come on. Come on. What happened to you? I had a little trouble starting the fire. What's the big deal? You light a match. I didn't want to burn the whole ranch down. Just, would you please help me get this horse into the trailer? You, you know, I really can't, Nick. I've got to get back before I become a suspect. No, 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 no. I have no luck with horses. Just give me a hand. Come on. Rover, get in the trailer. This whole idea is getting more and more dangerous Come by on, the Come on, Rover. Why Good horse. Just forget Come about on. it. Nonsense. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? Where are you going? Look, Nick, I've got to get back to the stables because I am going to be a suspect very soon. You cannot leave me here with him. Look, you are the criminal genius around here. I'm sure that you can get Rover in the trailer by yourself. Hasta la vista, baby. 
Okay. It's between you and me, big guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! And still checking the entire property, Mr. Sumner. You find the guys who snatched this horse, I want you to shoot them. We have the equivalent of an APB out to all law enforcement agencies, sir. We're pulling over every truck or trailer on the interstate. Atlantic Rover is one tough hombre, Mr. Sumner. I'm sure he'll be okay. There's a good chance we'll be able to get your thoroughbred back. Yeah, unless he's at the glue factory already. You heard? Yeah. Terrible. They wanted to pick on somebody for ransom. They should have picked on me, not some defenseless horse. You know, I think it's a mistake to trust these guys. You know how trigger-happy they are? You want Rover to end up as dog meat? Why don't you tell him to go? You know, tell him we've got uh, private investigators coming or something. I can't do that. It'd make us look suspicious. You're right, though. They don't care about the horse. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. We'll just have to keep our eye on them. No way they're going to shoot a horse if we're around. Well, Carlos will be here. Forget Carlos. You'll be here. I have a previous engagement. Blow off your previous engagement. We're talking about a $10 million horse here. <laughs> Fellas, you obviously have to set up a command center here. I want you to count on Mrs. Sumner here to help you out on anything you need. Well, we appreciate your cooperation. It's freezing, it's cold, it's freezing. Where is that crazy woman? Come on, Anna, where are you? Actually, if we do get him back, I don't think we should ever race him again. We ought to just turn him out in a large pasture with a bevy of concubines, impeccably bred females, accomplished in their own field, of course. Of course. That field being horse racing. What are those sheriff guys prowling around out there? No. I was just looking at the night. Nice night, huh? Yeah. You know, I think I'll take a walk. What, are you nuts? You know what time it is? <laughs> what time? It's a quarter to one. I don't care what time it is. I want to take a walk. Good idea. I think I'll go with you. I'm a little wired, you know? Where have you been? It's almost four o'clock in the morning. I fed a command post. I listened to my husband's nonsensical rambling. I took him for a walk, put him in bed, and got here as quick as I could. So don't start with me. We are stuck here for the night. It's just as well we lie low. Greg's got half the cops in California looking for you-know-who. You-know-who is lousy company. He has bad breath, makes terrible noises, and won't leave me alone. Think of the money, Nick. It was a bad idea. Four million dollars? Believe me, if we get caught, I'll tell them it was your idea. We'll have enough money to open a five-star restaurant in Florence. Right now, I'll be happy with Fresno. Five billion lira, Nick. Five billion. Now, are you ready to shut up yet? Let's shut up, I'll shut up. I did bring you something to eat. Oh, thank you. Excuse me? What is it? Egg salad. You expect me to eat it? Oh, excuse me. I'm fresh out of penne puttanesca. <laughs> no wine, no salad, nothing. It isn't a picnic. Oh, no, no, don't. Don't. Mmm. It's delicious. Oh. I think it's morning. Oh, oh, God, my neck. Ah. Oh, Nick, I've got to get back to the ranch. What? Well, you can go like this. You've got it with straw. Well, let me get it off. Right. Oh, God, how can anybody do this? My body's stiff. Ugh. I'll tell Greg that um, I went I went riding and I fell in a ditch. Come on, he'll ask you why you were riding at 3 in the morning. OK, then I took a walk and I got lost. That's a good one. It will explain why you look kind of messy. Ah, ooh. Ah. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, look at me. Look at me, Nick. Anna, we have to talk about the plan. How do we get the ransom money? I'm sorry, Nick. I cannot think when I look like this. What does he want? He's hungry. He wants breakfast. Well, then feed him. We are out of food. You had to eat the entire sandwich, didn't you? Well, excuse me. I was hungry. Me too. Look, I'll be back as soon as possible. Anna, you can't go. We have to talk about the plan. Look, Nick. First things first. I've got to get back to Greg. Anna, please, would you look at me? I am tired of being a horse thief. <clears throat> it lacks panache. Nick, think about it. Five billion lira. Bye. Hi, it's me, yeah. I, I don't want you to worry, I'm okay, okay? I wasn't worried, I thought you might be dead. Uh, don't get your hopes up yet. So where are you? What happened? I have some personal business to take care of, nothing that concerns you. Oh, Treadwell won't like that very much. Conducting personal business on his time. Forget about that. I've already talked to him. What? No, not about you. At least not yet. We had a nice little chat about your detective, Ryan. He's not my detective. He's not Treadwell's either. He's never heard of Ryan. Well, what did you expect him to say, Nick? Do you think he's going to admit that he sent someone to spy on you? And why would he send somebody to spy on me? Because he doesn't trust you. I've done everything he's asked me to. And the plan's still going wrong, isn't it? Just keep an eye out on Ryan for me, OK? With pleasure. Yeah. And don't enjoy yourself too much. Believe me, Nick, I'm not enjoying myself at all. <laughs> so, Marvin, how bad is it? Oh, well, it's, uh... Annie, where you been? Come on in here. You know Marvin Biederman, my insurance agent? Oh. Marvin, this is my wife, Annie. Ah, oh, pleased to meet you. Hi. Hey. Sit down, I want you to hear this. So, Marvin, how bad is it? Oh, well, it's uh, good news or bad news, depending on how you look at it. Is the company going to pay or not? <sighs> of course. We'll pay. But you don't want to go for the full 10 million. Well, first of all, um, the horse may turn up. But suppose he can't perform, suppose he can't do what comes natural. He's worthless. Well, that's covered in your policy, too. It is. Marvin, what are you not telling me? I inadvertently overprotected your interests, Mr. Sumner. The company is not happy. You mean I'm overinsured? This really is the best policy on a horse I've ever sold. <laughs> bottom line, Marvin, bottom line. Well, in short, Mr. Sumner, if Atlantic Rover is found missing or dead or disabled, the policy is worth 15 million to you. <laughs> 15 million, he shows up dead, I make 5 million. <laughs> mm. Well, we'll negotiate you down a few million, of course. I mean, we are an insurance company. Why should we give anything away? It doesn't matter, Mr. Biederman. Mr. Sumner wouldn't accept a settlement. What? What? Greg, I know how you feel about that magnificent beast. And I know money's not the question. You want the horse back. I do? 
the way you talked about him last night. What a perfect animal he was. What a thoroughbred. So powerful, yet fragile. <laughs> Andy. I know. I guess I care about the big guy, too. Marvin, save your job. Rip me off a little bit. This way, if we don't have to pay ransom, we can go out and buy ourselves a better horse. What? He doesn't want the horse back. He stands to make $5 million profit from the insurance. How could that be? I don't know. What difference does it make? Now we're stuck with this... this... animal. You are sure Sumner doesn't want it back? Positive. But there must be plenty of people who would pay big bucks for this horse flesh. And uh, think for one moment. The most important thing in breeding is lineage. Who sired who by whom? That's what makes the horse valuable. But he's absolutely worthless if you have to keep his identity secret, right? Wait, what about the insurance company? insurance company mm -hmm. we ransomed the horse back to them for two million dollars why would they pay because they could make Sumner take it back and save themselves millions <laughs> what does he want Miss thirsty would you please hand me the bucket so you think we should extort money from the biggest insurance company in the United States? We were going to extort it from all power for Gregory Sumner and Wayne. Well, that wasn't such a good idea, was it? You are right. That was a terrible idea. I don't know how I let you talk me into it. I talked you into it? Yes, you talked me into oh, it. Oh, stop being so emotional. He's Italian. He can't help it. Greg. Uh, Senor Sumner, did you really think you could steal a $10 million horse and keep it a secret? <laughs>